Welcome to Phoenix Analysis and Design Technologies, where we make innovation work through simulation, product development, and rapid prototyping. As an ANSYS channel partner, we sell and support products from ANSYS Inc. in the Four Corner States and Nevada. In addition, we provide consulting and training in ANSYS tools worldwide. These tools provide simulation capabilities in fluid dynamics, structural mechanics, electromagnetics, as well as systems and multiphysics applications. Hey guys, this is Manoj with PADT. In today's focus video blog, I'm going to show you an example of doing an analysis with ANSYS Autodyne. And in this example, we're going to be modeling the impact of a steel slug onto a reinforced concrete bar. So ANSYS Autodyne is accessed within the workbench environment just like most of the other ANSYS tools. Simply bring in an explicit dynamics tool, which you can see here that I've already done. If I go into my engineering data, we can see that I've already included a concrete model that I'm going to use for my concrete bar. I've already imported the geometry file, so I'll go ahead and double click model to go into ANSYS Mechanical. Now, as you can see here, uh, it looks like I have about four bodies. So I have my two fixed supports that my concrete bar is resting on. And then I'll have the steel slug that it's actually going to impact the concrete bar. However, what we'll notice is if we hide the concrete block, we can see these line bodies that have been brought in. These are the reinforcements for the concrete. So think of it like rebar. So first things first, we need to change our material for our concrete bar from the default of structural steel to the concrete. Everything else can remain the same. Under connections, we want to remove these bonded contact regions that were automatically generated because we're only interested in the body interactions that happen. A default body interaction comes into place with a frictionless constraint, which essentially means that all these bodies, when they touch, will behave and react in a frictionless manner with each other. Now we want to include one more, so we're going to go ahead and insert a body interaction, and we're going to change the type from frictionless to reinforcement. Now what this does is it'll look and search for line bodies that are completely enclosed by a solid block. In this case, our line bodies that are inside the concrete block is completely surrounded. In that case, those line bodies get treated as reinforcement objects and so will maintain its position relative to the concrete bar that it originally is mapped to. Now we'll go into our mesh uh, and we'll just give it a pretty decently sized mesh. Um, let's take a look at what that does. Go ahead and generate it. And yeah, you can see that's a pretty decently sized mesh. Now we go into analysis settings and the key one here is the end time. So essentially you're trying to model the length and duration of the impact. And so with our end time, we're going to give it about 5 e to the minus 3 seconds. Then what we want to do is we want to get an initial condition on our steel block. So we're going to insert, and we're going to insert in a velocity. We're going to map it to the steel slug. And we're going to change our components for our velocity to 20 meters per second in the y direction. So as you can see here, positive y is down. Then what we want to do is we want to insert in a fixed support. So we'll go ahead and insert a fixed support on our two resting plates. And then what we'll do is we'll just go ahead and throw in some results during the calculation. So we'll go ahead and enter a total deformation. And then we'll also enter a user defined result, which is damage all. And I'll talk more about that once the solution is complete. So I'm going to go ahead and hit solve. Uh, it should take about a minute, and we'll be back with the results here in a little bit. So the solution has been completed, and as you can see, it took about 0.9 minutes on eight cores to run. So we'll go ahead and go look at our total deformation plot first. And you can see the deformation of the concrete bar to due to the steel slug impact at 20 meters per second. Now the more interesting one is the damage all user defined result that we created. Now this is an explicit only output that we get. 
Now, when we look at it, we'll see that our values go from zero to one. Now, a value of zero on the part means the material is completely intact, whereas a value of one indicates the material is completely damaged and could easily break free. So the steel slug impacting this reinforced concrete block at 20 meters per second dealt a serious amount of damage. So as you can see here, a quick and easy way to do drop test, impact studies, things that are of quite quick time duration events uh, for analysis purposes. Um, now keep in mind that the prep of these kind of studies are done using ANSYS Mechanical, whereas the solver that it's using is the ANSYS Autodyne solver. We hope this video was useful, and please subscribe to PADT as we will be doing more videos on tips and examples in ANSYS. If you have any questions, feel free to call PADT Inc. Otherwise, see you next time.